need to speak, so I'll go to 3 o'clock this morning. <coughs> Friend. <coughs> well, what can I say? Thank you so much for those remarks. I could hardly believe that was me who was speaking. <laughs> and thanks to you, Dave, Levy, Elliot Rosen, and the rest of you, Slipper Leadership, who chose me to receive this very special honor. I've been connected to Golden Slipper Club for more than 52 years, ever since I worked at the campus of Hansel. And because I have known personally almost every slipper president and gold medallion winner over the past half a century, more than that, I know firsthand the quality of the individuals who have received this award and therefore feel especially honored and privileged to be asked to, be, to join this special, special group. I'm particularly grateful to Frank and Bunny Brodsky. Elliot, Maxine Rosen, and Bernie and Tamar Roth, each of whom didn't hesitate for one second when I asked them to help me by chairing this gala and the tribute book. Thank you to Paul Geller and the Slipper Office staff and Regina, who took care of all the logistics and details of putting this wonderful evening together and made our planning meetings not only well organized and efficient, but in real Slipper tradition, a lot of fun. I want to thank my friend Jan Epstein, where is she? Who performed with a couple of friends, George and George, and doing the cocktail hour. Thank you, thank you, Jan. When I was in the second or third grade, it was apparent that I had a lot of energy. One of my teachers told my mother that if this exuberance of energy could be harnessed and directed in meaningful ways, that I would accomplish, could accomplish important things in my life. In retrospect, I probably had some type of hyperactivity disorder. <laughs>
my abilities and love of surgery. And from my good friends Danielle Grossman and Michelle Rosen, my continued love of all things French and the maintenance of my abilities in the French language. Les deux sont ici ce soir. Merci bien, mes très bons amis. From my former wife and good friend, Carol, many valuable insights in business and in life. And from Carol, my assistant, Barjana, my children, Justin and Sabrina, my abilities, however limited, but still improving in the use of a smartphone and a computer. <laughs> <laughs> have to add my niece, Amy, to that. She's a computer whiz and is helping. From my special friend, Kid Q, who over the past 12 years has shared with me both sad and happy moments, not the least of which are the pleasures of dim sum. <laughs> and most important for my children, Justin and Sabrina, the realization that being a parent is the greatest blessing of all. Although I support a number of charities, the most important organizations with which I am involved are the Golden Slipper Club, the Bellacan of Narbeth Rotary, and the Lower Marion Symphony. For those of you who are guests tonight and not members of Golden Slipper, you've heard a little bit of this already, but it bears repeating because it's important. You should know it's a uniquely Philadelphia charitable organization of approximately 800 members, men and women who support a beautiful 600-acre camp, in the Poconos, where about 700 underprivileged children enjoy a fabulous summer experience they will never ever forget. Senior centers for independent seniors offer daily lunches, activities, trips, lectures, and friendship. A college scholarship program for deserving and needy students. Emergency grants for individuals and families in need. And an annual Passover Seder for five or 600 senior citizens, most from Federation Housing, many of whom would spend the holiday alone. And I've had the pleasure of being a caterer for that Seder for the past 25 or 30 years. For those of you who don't know, Rotary International is the largest service organization in the world with over 1.2 million members, a network of more than 34,000 Rotary clubs in 160 different countries. A tremendous organization. They support a large number and variety of humanitarian projects worldwide, including student exchange programs, sending volunteers to foreign countries to immunize children against polio in their Polio Plus program, sponsoring rotoplast teams and plastic surgeons, nurses, pediatricians to third world countries to treat children and adults with cleft lip and palate, and building water wells, supplying electricity, sanitation and housing and survival kits for areas hit by natural disasters many other similar projects. The Valley Kim and Marbeth Rotary, of which I'm currently president, meets weekly each Wednesday. We have lunch at Aldar's Bistro here in Valley Kim. And anyone who's interested is invited to come Wednesday at 12.15. <laughs> Thanks again to my mother. I've had a lifelong passion and romance with classical music and the clarinet. I have been fortunate in being able to study at the Southern Music School as a child. I've had friendships and opportunities to be coached by world-class clarinetists like Anthony Giuliani, his son Mark is here, former principal clarinet of the Philadelphia Orchestra, and Donald Montanaro, former assistant principal and acting principal clarinet of the Philadelphia Orchestra, who is with us today with his wife Margarita, harpist in the Philadelphia Orchestra. I'm a physician. And I love music. I heard someone say recently that music is the doctor of the soul. Thanks, Jack. And I believe it. Music can really affect people. Even if they don't know much about the details of creating music or playing music, it's a language that speaks to us all. Sometimes, when playing an especially beautiful piece, I get so swept up with the beauty of the composition that I become emotional myself and choked up and I have difficulty playing. A piece that comes readily to mind 
is the melody in the slow movement of Rachmaninoff's second symphony, which really affects me every time I hear it, but there are others as well. Classical music is, in my opinion, the most complex music that exists, and that is why it is still performed hundreds of years after being written. People all over the world, from every station in life, recognize the complexity, beauty, and emotion expressed in classical music. I feel privileged that I was given the opportunity to take music lessons as a child, and I'm fortunate to have the ability to play the music of geniuses like Mozart, Beethoven, Tchaikovsky, Dvorak, Mahler, Elgar. It's a challenge and a joy to play this music, the music of geniuses. I am also very proud that I had something to do with the creation of Lower Marian Symphony. I am thankful that my friend Mark Giuliani, veteran of the students with the Philadelphia Orchestra, accepted my invitation to be musical director and conductor of our orchestra. He's here with his wife, Holly, who's also a bassoonist in the Philadelphia Orchestra. He has elevated our group to be a top-level community orchestra. Thank you, Mark. Thank you for all you've done for the Lower Marion Symphony and for giving pleasure to all of us who play in the orchestra. Finally, a short word about plastic surgery. I was fortunate to have trained with some of Europe's top plastic surgeons. And this work has brought both challenges and rewards to my life. I've spent my professional life trying to help people have a better image of themselves through cosmetic and reconstructive surgery, treating problems created by traumatic injuries burns, congenital anomalies. In recent years, I've become very occupied in the field of transgender surgery, which is truly a medical necessity and, in fact, saves countless lives. If plastic surgery is all about helping people feel better about themselves, then transgender surgery is the highest form of plastic surgery. I absolutely believe there is no field of endeavor in or out of the medical profession that has the ability to create such a profound improvement in the physical, mental, and emotional life of a human being. My patients who come from all over the United States, in fact, around the world, express their thanks and gratitude for whatever help I can offer them. And this, in turn, has made my life more meaningful and makes the long office hours and long days of the operating room immensely rewarding. I thank the Gold Silver Club for the great honor and privilege of the Gold Medallion Award. And I offer my best wishes and congratulations to David Levy and his team for their second term heading this wonderful organization. Thank you to all my family, friends, and my silver family for coming tonight and supporting the Gold Silver Club of Charities. When my parents and my younger brother died in recent years, I received an enormous outpouring of concern at the shiva and the letters and notes and calls from silver members which touched me enormously and made me feel as super as really my extended family. I feel that more than ever. Thank you so much for tonight.